What is the opposite of down, guys? Hobbs here, and I'm bringing you another casual episode. Just going over some gameplay. I got a, some interesting footage of you and of me in a siege match um, using a rather well uncommon rocketeer loadout. As you can see, I chose the EOC repeater and decided to run the EOC rocketeer for a bit. So you'll see some gameplay of that. But I also have a little bit of news for you guys. I actually have a job now. So. That means I actually have, I actually am gonna be able to make money, which means I'm finally gonna be able to purchase a new computer, so I don't have to stick with all the, cra uh, not well, they aren't crappy, but I'm not gonna be stuck to having just the stuff I had recorded back when I was at that digital animation school and I had their amazing computers I could use. I can finally buy a new computer and actually be have it so that I can actually record it. Uh, record gameplay again and not have it be at 15 frames a second on the lowest graphics quality because that's what my recordings would look like now if I tried to record and plus I don't know about you but I find it kind of hard to play Hawken at my best at 15 frames a second not that I really would be playing my best since it's been such a long time since I've played Hawken uh, I've gotten so rusty at it people who I normally would be able to beat have just been kicking my ass every time I go on but yeah, oh well, I guess it'll, it just happens for me not being able to play as much, but rest assured that I will be able to use more of my free time, even though I have a little less free time that since I have a job now, but I expect to be able to maybe get a new computer that around Thanksgiving at the earliest, and hopefully before Christmas I can get myself a new computer, nice PC, be able to produce a lot more new stuff, and definitely stuff for like tutorials, because if you've seen me, I've been kind of holding off on making tutorials, mostly because I haven't been able to produce new footage and gather stuff, uh, actual footage I'd want to use for a tutorial. And so, like a lot of the footage that I have, it's good if I just want to do a casual episode or maybe like do a thing for Hawk and Fortress, but if I really want to explain something inside of a, like a tutorial, I kind of, I'm looking for a bit more specific footage and if I'm, and since I got like such a small pool, since essentially the pool of videos that I have is getting smaller and smaller because, you know, well, just because I haven't been able to record new ones, it's just been a little bit harder to get those tutorial out. But I will still do try to do casual episodes from now until then, so yeah, you'll still be seeing me. I'm not saying that you won't see me at all, I'll still keep doing whatever I can. But yeah, enough of that gab. So, let's just get back to the game, and yes, if you haven't noticed already, EOC Rocketeer, and somehow I'm managed to do pretty darn good with it. As you can see on this Siege game, how I'm just using the EOC Rocketeer. It's just kind of like, sort of how you would use a EOC uh, Infiltrator, except you're good. Okay, the EOC Rocketeer is definitely a suppressive machine. The health, the skies are just filled with your Hellfire Rockets, and the ground are just littered with EOC mines. And this setup is very uh, useful inside of a team, uh, inside of a team uh, setting. I cannot find the words right now. But it's very useful inside of a team setting because, well, essentially you are the big suppression machine and your uh, teammates are able to push forward. Because between all of the explosives that you're just putting out, your the enemy team is going to have a hard time trying to push forward. And uh, compared to how you would use like with a Seeker Rocketeer, Seeker Rocketeer has a lot more sustained damage because the Seekers are just going to be constantly firing them. But with the EOC Rocketeer, you see me dodging around, playing peekaboo a little bit more, like trying to lock on, fire the lock on, fire off EOC volley, and then curve the Hellfires around a corner. That's a thing that I generally like to do while using an EOC Rocketeer, and it, it's kind of the way I found it to be the easiest way to play an EOC Rocketeer. I mean, it can be kind of hard, especially when you don't have cover and you get caught out in the open, you're going to have a really tough time. So do your best not to be caught out in the open as an EOC Rocketeer or away from your team, because this loadout is very, very risky to try and play. It is not the easiest thing to do. Like, I mean, first off, the Rocketeer is in itself, even with the Seekers, is not the best at like direct combat. I mean, you can kind of use it, but eh, I'd still advise to try and stay with your team. And then you can be a real force to be reckoned with. And then the EOC Repeater, like giving that to suppressive mech, it makes it a little bit tougher. But you have a lot of burst damage with this, and a lot of uh, and a bit, and you still have like the Hellfire missiles as a backup. And you see me trying to shoot like a lot, especially when I'm doing peekaboo tactics. I don't always lock on, sometimes I'll dumb fire the hellfires. I mean, it's still like a rocket shotgun, so it still works pretty well. And then also in the game right here, you see me getting a little bit of lag right here. And actually, yeah, 
you see the screen freeze and stuff like that, yeah, that's actual in-game lag. It's nothing to do with my uh, recording device, actually. In fact, I think I died to it because of the lag got so bad at one point. Yeah, I think, yeah. I just, you, know, you can see right here, the lag got really, really bad, and then I'm just dead. Uh, oh well. I don't know. It was kind of a shame that it happened, but still, it was fairly good gameplay, and plus, you don't always get to see the EOC Rocketeer in action, so I figured I might as well report it and use it to show it to you guys. And yeah, and then finally the lag ended. In fact, I even typed in the chat, I was like, whoa, lag. And then I decided to switch it up that game. I went to, uh, Grenadier with a Rev GL, just because I felt like playing heavies this round, and obviously, I mean, you can look at the score right now in the Siege match, my team basically has it won. But yeah, so I just decided to practice up on my heavies and just kind of mess around with them, play with them, get a feel for them. But yeah, you see Rocketeer is definitely not everyone's thing, but I personally find it a lot and a lot of fun. And of course, Grenadier is always good. With the Rev GL, it's just me. You know, again, with the Rev GL, I'd say it's kind of like the Rocketeer Seekers, except a lot harder to aim. You gotta get used to the way the uh, grenades bounce and the way they arc and whatnot, because they obviously are not gonna home in on enemies, but still. It's one of the most effective tools. I mean, all you really gotta do is just hold the mouse down and you can make people evacuate an AA point like the no tomorrow because the splash radius is pretty darn big. And if you add the Grenadier's ability on top of that, oh man, there's just gonna be explosions everywhere and people are just going to run from you. Grenadier is really great that, at that. I know it's classified as a suppression mech, but when you couple it with the ability, it can be a full-on assault mech just to clear the enemy team right off of a point, which is great. And you can just see me here trying to duel with it. It's not always the easiest to try to duel, duel with the uh, Rev GL, only because like the whole bouncing nature. I, I kind of prefer the uh, heat cannon because, well, the T uh, the, the the Rev GL kind of reminds me of the Demo Man's grenade launcher from TF2, which it actually acts quite a lot like. But you know, I'm definitely a much better soldier in TF2 than a Demo Man, so I kind of prefer the heat cannon because the heat cannon actually feels a lot like the soldier's rocket launcher. So, I don't know, I guess that's probably why I feel a little bit more comfortable with it. But, you know, I can still use the Reggio when called on, and yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, there isn't too much to say much about this uh, Siege game. I mean, it's fairly easy. I'm just trying to get this Reaper right here. And, let's see, did I get him? Oh, no, oh yeah, he's repairing around the corner. I don't know why he's doing that. Boom! Just, ah. I don't know why you think I wouldn't come after him like that. It's just like, dude, you're, you're gonna want to move. Oh, well. Yeah, don't try to do stuff like that. And then people taking jump pads can be the death of them because, you know, right at the peak of the jump pad, I can just take them out easy. Oh yeah, and Zuki right over here. <laughs> He's dodging my grenades and, ah, oh, he even got me. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I kind of don't like the Rev GLs because I'm trying to bounce them around and sometimes I have a hard time doing that. Sometimes I just, eh, I end up dying. But again, like I said, I'm a much better soldier than I am Devil Man. And you can see right here, I switch over the heat cannon and yeah, you can tell this game is basically over. I mean, we got f six... Actually, well, not six, that's four. <laughs> but yeah, we got, like, pretty much our whole team on the AA at this point, and then, you know, I come on there just to make things worse. So, yeah, th this team is just... I, yeah, they're not gonna pull out a uh, win at this point. They're just pretty much fighting to give us hell at this point. But yeah, it's a pretty simple siege game. I I wouldn't say there's too much to be explaining to go on. I basically kind of got into a... I wouldn't say... a stack match, but a bit of an uneven match in my team's favor. And you can see me with the heat grenadier, also a not so common loadout that you see. Again, I guess I just call it the fat filtrator, which basically is just like a heat cannon infiltrator, but you know, heavy mech style. And yeah, if you want to check it out, you can watch my grenadier videos and rocketeer videos for a bit more in-depth stuff on uh, those two uh, on those two mechs. But yeah, we won the siege match right here, and I don't really think there's much else that can really be said. You know, uh, if you guys like these videos, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you'd like. But yeah, I will definitely keep putting out videos for you guys and making sure I get more Hawken for you. And with this job, I'll be able to record even more matches and hopefully be able to get more games with you and play a little bit better. But until next time, Hobbs signing out.